Hello, my name is David Rote. I am the chairman of the Arts and Architecture Commission of St. John's Cathedral. Thank you for joining me today. This summer, our vestry tasked arts and architecture with the challenge, and the challenge was to come up with new seating for our cathedral based on the recommendation that the pews would be removed. Arts architecture took three things into consideration when making our recommendation. We looked at the aesthetics of the new seating. We wanted the function of the new seating to be right where it needed to be, and we wanted the seating to be comfortable. So starting with the aesthetics, our first service here at the cathedral was in 1911. So we wanted the seating to look like it would have been here for that first service. Or perhaps it would have been salvaged from the original cathedral which burnt down. So at that time period, there would have been two options for individual seating or chairs in the cathedral. They would have looked at Gothic revival or they would have looked at the arts and crafts movement. We first explored Gothic revival. Initially, all those quatrefoils carved into the back splats were charming. But when we considered that multiplying those quatrefoils by say 500 chairs, it seemed a bit flamboyant. Our focus wanted to be on the architecture of the space and not on the seating down below. So we quickly ruled out Gothic Revival as just being a little too fancy. One chair was wonderful, 500 was way over the top. So we landed on arts and crafts. Arts and crafts would have started when the original cathedral was built in the 1880s. And by 1911, many of Denver's houses were built in the arts and crafts style and furnished in the arts and crafts style. So that seemed an appropriate place to land. There's something we loved about the simplicity of arts and crafts, how the, the joinery was embraced and how there was a simplicity of the design. So that was a style that we chose aesthetically. And when you multiplied it by four or 500 chairs, it felt right in the space. It felt like it had always been here, which was our intention, and it didn't detract from the architecture. It actually highlighted the architecture instead. Secondly, with function, we needed chairs that could gang together or join together easily, so it wouldn't be difficult for sextons or volunteers to take the chairs apart. We needed a place for our hymnals to go, and we wanted to add maybe additional hymnals that never were in our cathedral uh, racks in the past and books of common prayer. We also had to look at how the kneelers functioned as well. And most importantly for most is the comfort. We test drove a lot of chairs, and I mean a lot of chairs. We wanted them to be comfortable for a concert or for a long sermon or hopefully a short sermon. So we were looking at the pitch of the chairs. We were looking at the way the length worked, and our old pews were quite frankly made for 19th century bodies. They were a little too short, a little too close together, and for the 21st century, we wanted chairs that would feel comfortable for the next 100 years. So without much further ado, I will reveal the chair to you now. So this is the chair that Arts and Architecture chose for St. John's Cathedral. Based on late 19th century arts and crafts period ladder back chairs, the uh, chairs have been made comfortable for the 21st century by a beautifully curved rail right here which fits the shoulders perfectly. The slats are also beautifully curved, a wonderful pitch which you'll see is instantly comfortable when you sit in the chair, and a carved saddle seat which fits you perfectly. The chairs are made out of red oak, they're rift cut, and it gives us a really beautiful grain without a lot of the knots you would see in other cuts of oak. What I love about these chairs is how functional they are. So if you'll indulge me here just a little bit, the chairs are joined together by the rack right here. Simple. Suddenly the chairs can be pulled apart. So if we are having say a flower show here in the cathedral, it's really easy to go ahead and stack these chairs one on another and store them. Two of the features that I love about this particular chair is the additional shelf right here, which allows us to house additional hymnals and books of common prayer, or crayons, um, and also the kneeler down below. We tried a lot of different kneelers. Some were attached to the back and kind of folded down. Others were just basically an additional little cushion that you would sit on. The one that we felt was most comfortable for most people was this guy right here. He pulls out quite far actually. 
And the nice thing about it is you're able to control your comfort level. So if you're a little bit more comfortable sitting closer, kneeling closer to the chair in front of you, you can. If you're like me and you tend to lean back a little bit against the chair, you can pull it out a little bit further. And I just love that fact that you're able to find what's comfortable for you when you are praying and kneeling at St. John's Cathedral. I'm so excited about these chairs. I know you will be too. We'll be seeing these in our cathedral in spring 2022. Thank you.